Number one, what is the direction of the magnetic force on a positive charge that moves as shown in each of the six cases shown in figure 22.50? All right. Um, so we have uh, basically uh, six cases down here, A, B, C, D, E, F. And we have to apply what's called right-hand rule number one. All right. I have a picture up here on the upper right-hand side. Now, uh, there is a relationship between the force acting on a charge, the direction of the magnetic field, and the velocity okay, of the moving charge. Now, right-hand rule number one here on the picture um, is um, for a positive charge right now. All right, so if the problem presents uh, with a positive charge, then you will be using this right-hand rule number one right here. All right, and you will have all the vectors um, shown where the force points out of the palm. Okay, the magnetic field points in the direction of the fingers, the four fingers, and the velocity points in the direction of the thumb. Now, all of these vectors here, the force, the magnetic field, and the velocity are all at 90 degrees relative to one another. Okay. It's tough to tell here in the picture, um, but that's because it's two-dimensional and this is really three-dimensional, all right, in reality. So that's what makes this hard. Now, you almost want to think when you perform these rules, think of you're shaking a person's hand, okay, and you are not allowed, it's a very rigid shake, okay, you are not allowed to move these fingers or this thumb, okay, keep them at 90 degrees to one another. All right, these fingers stay together, and those fingers should be at a 90 degree angle relative to your thumb. Okay, lock your hand in that position whenever you're doing these problems. Okay, lock it. Lock it up. No, you lock it up. Lock it up. What movie? All right. Now, uh, let's take a look at letter A. Okay, so first thing is um, the B represents the magnetic field. And these little dots here represent that the magnetic field is pointing towards you. Okay, these dots, this dot here, this dot, this dot, and that dot, always represent the magnetic field is pointing towards you, meaning it's coming out of the computer screen, right into your face. Okay, it is pointing towards you. These X's, though, on the other hand, are pointing away from you. This is the magnetic field, as I said, B pointing now away from you. So X's mean away or into the page, okay, away or into page, whereas the dots then represent towards or to you, coming out to you, okay? Um, think about it like an arrow, right? If an arrow were coming towards you, what would you see? You would just see basically the point of the arrow, right? As it hits you in the chest, or in the eyeball. And then if the arrow were going away from you, what would you see? Well, you would just see the X or the tail, right, of that particular arrow. So, um, yeah, that's how to think about it. Uh, anyway, so now let's apply right hand rule number one here. So what you have to do, take your hand, all right, it's gonna feel awkward, all right, at first, but first line up one at a time. Don't deal with, you know, don't try to look at velocity and magnetic field at the same time. Do the velocity first. Now notice over here in right hand rule number one, right? What do we have? The thumb represents the velocity. Now what you have to do is fix your hand rigidly in this position, okay? At the start, you can always do it like this, meaning point your fingers, you know, away from you, your thumb to the right, and your palm will be then facing up, you know, almost like as if you're asking for money or something. Um, now what you're going to do with your hand rigidly in this position, you don't have to keep your fingers though pointing away and your thumb to the right, but you must keep them at a 90 degree angle relative to one another now. Okay. Like pretend like you're rigidly shaking someone's hand and you're not going to, you know, break that position. So what you're now going to do is you're now going to take your thumb here and you have to point it downwards. Okay. So take your thumb and point it down. Okay. So probably what's most likely, what most likely you've done now is you probably have taken your thumb, pointing it down, and your fingers are probably pointing to the left now, okay? Possibly, I don't know. But that's how I naturally go into that position, 
Okay. Now what you have to do is keeping your thumb down, right? You got to keep the thumb pointing down. Make sure you maintain a 90 degree angle between the thumb and your four fingers, right? With your thumb now pointing down, you must move now your four fingers out of the computer screen, meaning take your four fingers and almost try to poke yourself in the eye. Don't poke yourself in the eye, but it's like you're trying to, okay? So it's going to feel awkward. You got your thumb pointing down. You're trying to like point the fingers towards your face, okay? It's almost, you're probably going to feel like, oh man, this really hurts my wrist. Yeah, if that's kind of where you're at right now with this question or part A, you're probably doing it right, okay? If it doesn't feel too awkward for you at the moment, you're probably wrong, all right? This is, I don't, A is an awkward one to kind of start with. Maybe we should start with others first, but anyway. So your thumb's pointing down, your fingers are pointing now towards you or towards your face. And if you notice then, if that's the case, your palm should now be facing to the left, okay? Your palm should now be facing to the left. So remember, since we're dealing with a positive charge, okay, this is right hand rule number one for a positive charge, the force always points out of your palm. So whatever direction your palm is pointing will be the direction of the force, okay? And the force here is pointing now uh, to the left, all right? So that takes care of letter A. Letter B. Now, again, work with one at a time. First, look at the velocity. So put your hand in this rigid position, lock your four fingers together, your thumb pointing just to the right for now, don't worry about it, and make sure that there's a 90 degree angle between those two, okay? Like a rigid high. Like, hi, how are you, right? I'm, I'm an alien, kind of, because it's so rigid, all right? Or if you were to think about shaking somebody's hand very rigidly, all right? So you keep your hand like that. Then what you're going to do with your hand in that fixed position, you're going to now take your thumb and point it up to the ceiling. Don't worry about where your four other fingers are pointing. Just put your thumb up. Okay. Now with your thumb pointing up, what you have to do is you now have to take your four fingers and point them to the right. Okay. Because the four fingers represent the magnetic field. So with your thumb pointing up, take your four fingers and point them to the right. Now, if you do that properly, your thumb is pointing to the ceiling, your four fingers are pointing to the right, the palm of your hand now should be facing the computer screen, right? That's where your palm should be facing. Now, since your palm is facing the computer screen and the force comes out of your palm like this, then the direction of the force now is called into the page. So the direction of the force here is going to be into the page. Now, you can write a whole bunch of X's all around if you want. It doesn't matter. You can write one. Who cares? All right? But it should be into page now. Into the page. And those are denoted with the X's. Okay? You don't have to put circles around them. You can just leave them as X. Now, I said I was going to move faster with that, but now I'm, now I'm going to definitely move faster. Okay? So, again, put your hand in this rigid position. Take your thumb. Point your thumb to the right now because the velocity is pointing to the right. Then, with your thumb fixed in the right position, what you have to do is now move your hand. Remember to keep it rigid, but you got to move your hand so that the magnetic field here, your four fingers, that is, is pointing now away from you. Okay? Because that's what the X's mean. The X's mean away or into the page. So your fingers are pointing away from you or into the computer screen. Your thumb here is pointing to the right. It's almost like you're begging for money, hopefully. It looks like that. Okay? Please. Right? That's what it should look like. And if that's the case, your palm should be pointing then up. And that is then the direction of the force. Up. Okay? All right. Letter D. Take, fix, fix, rigidly fix your hand in that position. Take your thumb. Point it to the right. Excuse, oh, oh, boy. That's your left, Andrew. Point it to the left. Okay? With your thumb rigidly pointing to the left, take, take now, take with your thumb... With your thumb pointing to the left, take your four fingers and try to now point them directly 180 degrees to the right. Can you do it? Don't try it. Don't try it. Don't try it. No, right? You can't do it. Okay. Anytime these vectors here, if you notice they are 180 degrees apart, 180 degrees, what that means now is there is no force. None. 
okay? There has to be some, there has to be some perpendicular component to this velocity vector. It doesn't have to be perfectly perpendicular like, let's say, this, okay? It doesn't have to be pointing directly up, but it has to have some perpendicular component, like this vector here, if this were v, this would have a perpendicular component of this, right? Right here? Right, it would have that perpendicular component. So as long as the velocity vector has some perpendicular component, we can figure it out. But if it has no perpendicular component, well, then the there is no force, all right? There has to be some perpendicular component to this velocity vector in order for there to be a force uh, acting on the particle, all right? Okay, so that is just none. So letter E, now take your thumb. Here's the velocity. Your thumb is pointing into the computer screen. So take your thumb and point it towards the computer screen. Now take those fingers, four fingers, and point them upwards, okay? Because that's the direction of the magnetic field. Where's your palm pointing? What? I can't hear you. That's pointing to the right. Right, your palm should now be pointing to the right, okay? So that's the direction now of the force, to the right, F. And then last but not least, now point your thumb towards you like you're trying to poke yourself in the eye with your thumb. All right, now take your then... So I'm trying to do it myself. I'm hitting the mic all over the place. This is kind of awkward. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to then take your four fingers now, point them to the left. Where's your palm pointing now? It's almost like pretend like you were, it should almost look like you're, uh, you know, on a sunny day and you're trying to see, right? You're trying to cover the sun over your eyes, right? It should kind of look like that. All right. Uh, your palm should now be pointing down. Okay. And that would then be the direction of the forest now down. Okay, so hopefully that helps, guys. Um, it's not that bad. It's just a little awkward. Remember, the um, you know main idea here is you got to first fix your hand in this kind of locked position, right? And try to not don't bend your thumb or you know move your fingers. You know you got to move your whole hand in order to get it into position. Work with one vector at a time. You know, like velocity. Then try to align the magnetic field, etc. Okay, that should be easy. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this helps. All right, if it does, please help us out. We'd appreciate it so much. Subscribe, like, you know, tell your friends if you haven't already. And if you have, tell them again. Why not, right? Everybody needs a little reminder now and then. I'll see you soon. Take care.